Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released the first beta of Android 15 that we've been waiting for and I have it here on my Pixel 8 Pro to show you each and every new change. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the build number as usual. It's AP31.240322.018 and now let's take a look at the new features. Let me tell you that this is not a very exciting update because it has more issues than what's new. But anyways, let's go through what we've got. The first change is under the home settings. Now we have a new item called apps list settings that includes the swipe up to start search option that used to be under the search settings page. It's not a new feature, but Google is organizing things differently. The second change is in the quick settings. Now the Bluetooth and internet tiles open expanded and they don't take extra moments to expand like before but you get all the information immediately which is a bit faster now let's take a look at the new changes under settings the first one is the new discover tips button that you might see under certain settings so for example when i go to spatial audio i have discover tips tapping on it will open a floating card from the tips app to let you know more information about the feature and you have a back to settings button and the same applies to the clear calling feature, you will find the same thing. Google also updated the predictive back gesture animation under settings and the current window doesn't go as small as before and the animation is slightly faster as well. Under security and the privacy and then more security and the privacy, you will see a new option here called cellular network security. When you go inside, you will see two toggles. The first one is called security notifications and the description says receive notifications in case the cellular network you are connected to is insecure due to lack of encryption or if the cellular network records your unique device or SIM identifiers. And the second one is called require encryption and this one forces the encryption on the network. But it says here, you might not be able to connect in some locations but for emergency calls, encryption is never required. I didn't test this feature in real life yet, but I will keep you posted in my future videos. So that's it when it comes to the new features. Now let's talk about the bug fixes when compared to developer preview 2. If you remember in my previous video, I talked about the Android system intelligence keeps crashing, giving me a pop-up in the middle of the screen to close the app. And this didn't allow me to copy text use the smart replies feature in the notifications or search for anything in the system wide search. But after installing beta one, this issue is now fixed. The second issue I had with DP2 is the broken at a glance widget. Previously, it wasn't showing any info, but now it works as expected. So these are the fixes. And now let's talk about the bugs you should expect. The first one, when you go to any settings page from the quick settings, you will see two headers for the same page. However, when you go to the same page from within the settings app, the issue doesn't exist. The second issue is the missing NFC settings under connection preferences and then NFC. Now you'll see a blank page, but I tried to use Google Wallet and it did work as expected. But every time I open the app, I get this pop-up saying set Google Pay as your default. When I tap on set as default, I found it already set as default. So I'm not sure why it's doing this and I can make my payments normally. So that's it when it comes to the bugs, but still it's not recommended to install on your daily driver and I'm sure I will encounter more bugs the more I use it. And now let's talk about the performance. Performance wise, the phone was extremely laggy for the first few hours, but currently the performance is as good as expected. I don't have any major issues, but you need to keep in mind that sometimes issues come up out of the blue with beta softwares. So you need to be careful if you decided to use this build. So that's pretty much it for today. That's everything you need to know about Android 15 beta one. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.